Hello and welcome back to The Review Ting, where today we are talking about video games and what they actually say about you. So I recently came across this list that was shared in our Discord recently, and the questions on here may look pretty simple, but what do video games say about you? So recently, this got dropped in our Discord by a friend, and this is a lot harder than it actually looks. They are some questions here that are very difficult to answer so let's have a look into what my picks are for this and we would also like to know what your picks are for this so this list actually proved a lot harder than i thought it would when i first started looking at this i thought oh that's easy not a problem but these are the games that i actually picked for my all-time kind of favorites, what I liked, what I disliked, and some of the answers were actually quite shocking. My favorite game of all time. Now, as you might know, I am a huge Final Fantasy fan. I mean, like, I just obsess about this game. I play pretty much all the time. And the lore, the stories, everything is just fantastic. So for my first pick, my favorite game of all time will definitely have to be the original Final Fantasy VII. I adore the remake. But Final Fantasy VII is my OG favorite game of all time. I absolutely adore the story, the characters, the music, everything about it. It's just one of the greatest of all time. So next up on my list was my favorite series. Now, it was really hard for me to pick this series, but I'm going to go for Uncharted because the Uncharted games are absolutely phenomenal. You play through the story as Nathan Drake and later on there is also like a DLC type game that you play through other characters. But this this just captured me in a way that video, a video game series hadn't for a long time. And everything from the puzzles to the mechanics to the worlds, it just... It blew me away and I absolutely adore this series. Now for best soundtrack, there are some amazing soundtracks out there. I mean like top tier and this one I actually found really, really hard to sort of decide. But in all honesty, again, it comes back to Final Fantasy 7 and I chose Final Fantasy 7 Remake because again, it's just S tier. It's just the best of the best in terms of soundtracks for me. So... I chose Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, for my favorite protagonist, I mean, again, it's quite difficult for me to choose anyone other than Cloud Strife. That dude is just one of my favorites. He's just, yeah, he has his moments where he's a little bit whingy and whiny, but he's just such a complex character, and I just absolutely adore everything about him. For favorite villain, I had to kind of really, like this list, I'm not kidding you, was really hard because I had to try and figure out who I was gonna pick that wasn't Final Fantasy. I was trying to be a little bit more open and honest throughout this entirety of picking this list. And I sort of went to another series that I absolutely love. And I thought, who is my favorite villain? Who is just disgusting and horrible? And I really just don't like him. And I ended up picking Handsome Jack from the Borderlands series. This dude is just absolutely vile he is just smarmy he's oh he's slimy he just he's a horrible horrible person so because i hate him so much i think that's why i picked handsome jack so for the next one we chose best story and how how can you pick one let's be fair video games are just absolutely incredible and i will say that i thoroughly enjoy a lot of video games so this was really hard but if I have to think about a story that really sticks with me, I mean like deep in my heart, I have to go with Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. The story playing through Zack Fear is just one that just hits hard. And, you know, it's all about striving for, you know, the honor. And I just, I don't know, this, this story plays on my mind quite a lot, especially with the most recent rendition of Reunion. It's just, it's just such an epic story. You just got everything in there. You know, he's he starts off as a as a rookie. He's really struggling to sort of figure out who he wants to be, and then when he finds it, spoiler alert, he just gets shot down. And you know, it's not all in vain, but at the same time, it's just a story that sticks really 
close to home. So in terms of a series that I would like to play, but I haven't, I actually went with the series that I have played, but there's one particular entry in that series that I haven't played yet, and that is Persona 5. Now, the Persona games are absolutely incredible, but they are an absolute time sink, and I haven't got the time unfortunately that i'd like to sit down and really give this game justice just yet this was a difficult one for me because there's two series that i actually really want to get into it was persona 5 and the xenoblade series i haven't even touched the xenoblade series yet so that is definitely a series that i want to look into as well now when it comes to games that everyone hates i still don't understand why a lot of hate goes towards this game it's one of my I'd say it's one of my favorite like co-op games for sure. And I think that may be why people hate it is because the single player can be quite annoying. It can be quite hard. And yeah, it just gets on people's nerves. But for me personally, I absolutely adore Resident Evil 5. I think this game is absolutely amazing. I played through the solo story on my own the first time I played this game and I just thought it was great. But you play this with a buddy, it's a really fun experience. Now this one was really easy for me to pick. This is a game that everyone seems to love but I hate. And I mean, I, I, I honestly, this comes from a dark place, so sorry, Graham. But I absolutely hate Zelda Breath of the Wild. I just can't get that game. There is something about that particular title that just does not sit well for me. I just... I just could never get into it. I didn't like the fact that the weapons break. That was always a huge thing for me. It was so open and vast. I just feel like the progression of the story, I couldn't get into. And it's just... I don't know, They just for me personally, it was just so open-ended. Now, this doesn't mean that I ha hate all Zelda games. The latest DLC doesn't really do it for me either. Yeah, that's right. It's DLC, Graham. Um, but no, this, this series is really just not for me. This particular line of the series. I love the older games. I really adore the original Zeldas. But this one just didn't do it for me. So when it comes to best art style, I did not have a clue what to pick. Because there are so many gorgeous games out there. There have been so many great titles and really unique art styles out there. But for me personally, I'd say one of my favorite art styles is Borderlands 3. This game just looks gorgeous from the get-go. And it's just visually just so amazing it just looks gorgeous the cell shaded art in this game is just absolutely phenomenal it's so good i actually got the art book for this game because it was just amazing my favorite ending of a video game again this was really hard to try and pick because there are some fantastic endings to video games again it goes back to the original final fantasy 7 the the end of that game kind of just sets everything up kind of resolves a lot of issues that you go through in final fantasy 7 i don't want to go too deep into it because i could sit here and speak forever about the ending of final fantasy 7 but it is a good one let's face it so as i was just saying the ending the boss for final fantasy 7 was absolutely incredible sephiroth is a real nasty villain and it feels good to beat him but I gotta be honest with you, there is a new victory here for best villain in video games. It is a Final Fantasy game, but I'm gonna pick Ultima from Final Fantasy 16. This dude is just absolutely hateful in his in his in his ways. He's just horrible. And the boss fight for that was very very intense i'm not going to go again into too much detail because it might spoil some storyline stuff and people might not have played it you just you just want the dude to die you just you, you literally you you feel the hatred for this guy and you just you just want him to go he was one of the best boss fights i've had in a long time so my childhood game i know what you're thinking you're gonna say final fantasy 7 and as that was a childhood game there were so many I had to pick through. For me personally, my, my childhood game, the one that I really look at, was Pandemonium on the PlayStation 1. That game was absolutely phenomenal. It's a really great platformer, and I highly recommend anyone that may not have checked this out to go out and check it out if you, if you have the ability to. It's a really fun game. It's really colorful, and it was my first real introduction to, like, 
platforming games after the sort of Sega Mega Drive and things like that. And that, I really do look back and think, yeah, that was the game of my youth right there. So, relaxing games. I mean, there are so many games that I really enjoy playing just to kind of chill me out. Some which are actually not relaxing in the slightest. Like, I really enjoy Dr. Mario. That game, there's something about that game that I just enjoy playing and it just really chills me out. But I had to go for a, a really relaxing game. Again, another one that's a bit of a classic, if you like. But it's Tetris Effect. There is something just so cathartic about this game. It's really relaxing really chilling the music is so ambient at times it does ramp up especially when you're getting close to the top but i don't know you play that game and i just hit a point of zen it just is absolutely brilliant for a stressful game oh my god how could it not be a soulsborne game Dark Souls 3 is easily one of the most stressful games I've ever played. There is something about the Soulsborne series. From Software knew exactly what they were doing. They're quite sadistic in their ways. But Dark Souls 3 just... Uh, I'm not one that gets angry at video games. I really don't. I get a little bit frustrated and stuff like that. But the anger that I felt for this game was unreal. You know, there was a boss called Dancer on there. And oh my god. Oh my god, I literally, I could have broken my controller in half and it raged me so hard. So, a video game that I absolutely adore and I tend to go back to quite a lot just because I love playing through it is the original Crash Bandicoot. There is just something again about that game that I just find so cathartic. I just love just chilling out. I've got pretty familiar with all of the levels in that game and the insane trilogy that came out a few years ago. Ah. Oh, that version of the game is gorgeous. And I just, yeah, that is one of my, like, desert island games, if you like. It's one of those games that I love to go back, hang out, and just, just, I chuck it on sometimes just to play 20 minutes, half hour. It's just one of those games that just never gets old for me. I just keep going back to it. It's such a fantastic game. Here's where I got myself into a bit of trouble because I was thinking about guilty pleasure games. And there are there are a few out there that I won't particularly mention right here right now because it's kind of, you know, it's guilty pleasure. It's in the name. But the one game that I thoroughly enjoy playing through that is a mega just guilty pleasure is Fat Princess. Piece of cake. This game literally is like... The mobile phone games that you get today, like Candy Crush. It's a mobile game. You got to match up the jewels and all that kind of stuff. But I had a ton of fun because there is an RPG, sort of tactical RPG element to this. Because if you don't get things in the right way, you basically can't continue on the level. So it's a little bit more complex than just like your Candy Crush or whatever. But it is a bit of a guilty pleasure, I will admit. What game have I actually put the most amount of time into? There was a bit of a tie here because I had two games that I play quite a lot. One is Final Fantasy VII Remake. I have put hundreds and hundreds of hours into Final Fantasy VII through the various systems that I played it through because I own it on PlayStation, I own it on Steam, but the one game that I consistently go back to and have quite a lot of hours in as well is Borderlands 3. I just adore that game. It is such a beast and I just love playing online co-op with it. So the amount of hours that I've put into that game as well is pretty pretty high up there. Anyways guys, this was my video on my video games that speak a lot of volume about me, but I want to know what are your video game choices? Head on over to our Discord. The link will be in the description below. And tell us exactly, or comment on this video, what your picks for these games were, because I would love to know, because we're all different, we all have different tastes. And you learn you learn a bit about people when you do these sorts of lists. And I, I saw this and I thought, I'm gonna have to do a video about it. So anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Would you like to see more of this sort of content? Let us know down in the comments below. And thanks very much for watching. Take it easy, guys.